Hello everyone and welcome to this week's webinar. My name is Amy Douglas and I am one of the Salon Business Consultants for Shortcuts and today we are going to be looking at setting some goals for a successful 2018. Okay, so just a few bits to cover off before we get started. The webinar will be around 30 minutes and hopefully you can all hear me okay. You are all muted on microphone, but if you do have any questions, please use the chat box at the side and I will cover them on the question slide a little bit later on. If I could just ask that any support related questions are kept for the help desk, that would be fabulous. OK, so in this webinar today, we are going to learn how to set SMART goals you'll actually stick to. Use the business benchmarking to assess how your business is really performing. Take advantage of features like loyalty to increase revenue and to gauge your success with our insightful reports. So let's have a think about what SMART goals are. So SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and timely. And why do we set SMART goals? So it's so that you have a future proof game plan and you have milestones to work towards. Um, at the end of the day, what we all want is for our businesses to grow. And if we set these goals in January for the year ahead, this helps to motivate both ourselves and our staff and it means that everybody's working towards the same goal which is really important so it's great to set these for ourselves and for the team and we've got to make sure that these challenges are measurable and you can measure these achievements compared against some previous data so perhaps last year and we need to ensure that they are specific, which means that we have a clear idea of what it is we're working towards. They're measurable, so can we actually calculate the success of these goals? They're achievable for the business, so setting goals that are likely to be achieved, they are far more rewarding and far more encouraging, particularly for staff. And they're realistic. So goals for large businesses are not going to be the same goals that we set for smaller businesses and they have to be timely. So we have to set a date for this success and it doesn't have to be long term, it doesn't have to be short term. You can have a mix of both and, um, you know, we can look at what we want to achieve in a week and what we want to achieve within a year. So here are a few goals to have a think about. I've given four examples what we will do is we will just take the first two and look at these in a little bit more detail to understand why these are SMART goals. So goal one, goal one, I will acquire 20 new clients by June through client referrals. So this is specific because we have set a very specific number of clients that we're looking to attain. It's measurable because we set 20 as our figure and we can measure this using the reports in shortcuts, such as the client referral report. And what we are actually going to do is we are going to look at these four reports a little bit later on. And we're going to look at the specific um, reports that we can run for these goals. It's achievable. So we've set a goal that's achievable for the size of the business. It's realistic and if we do break this down, it is only three new clients a month. So that's actually less than one a week and it's timely. So we've chosen a six month time frame that we want to measure this goal over. So the second idea goal is to ensure 20% of non-returning clients return within the year. And again, this is specific because we've set a percentage of non-returning clients that we would love to come back to our business. It's measurable because we can measure this using, again, some of the reports, uh, which I will show you later on. It's um, achievable. So we're making sure that we've chosen an achievable percentage so you know that we can run the non-returning client report to see how many non-returning clients we have. 
and we've chose an achievable and realistic target to work towards. We've kept it really realistic. So if, for example, I had 100 non-returning clients, I'm looking for 20 of those to return, which again, if we break it down, is less than two a month. And again, we've set a time frame to work towards. So in this case, this is a goal for the entire year. So you get the idea and a couple of other ideas for you are to increase total sales by £2,000 by the end of next month and to encourage employees to upsell, I will set each member a target of selling £3,000 in products by the end of the year. So Shortcuts has a range of fantastic features which we can use to help keep on track with our goals. So the business benchmarking tool allows us to see how you're tracking month on month against others in the industry as well, which is really, really interesting to see. And it will make you feel brilliant if you're performing higher than average. And if not, it does give us that little extra boost of motivation to push the business further. We've got the loyalty, which is a great tool for boosting revenue and encouraging your clients to keep coming back time and time again. And client retention is so important and having this loyalty scheme in place, it's a little added incentive for those clients to keep returning. And finally, we do have the reporting. So if you're putting all this time and effort into improving your business, we want to be able to see and analyze the results. And the reporting tool helps you to see whether you're on track for reaching your goals. So if we take them one by one, the first one is the business benchmarking tool. So what does this benchmarking tool do? It helps us track key performance indicators it helps us identify strengths and weaknesses within our goals and our strategy. And it means we can compare our performance against others in the industry. So just so you know, all information that's stored in here is completely anonymous and nobody else who uses it can see any of your information. There's no reference to any other business participating. It's just purely to see an average. So you can actually see a breakdown of revenue, transactions, visits, clients and online bookings. So why would we want to use this business benchmarking tool? Well, it's to see how others are performing, which can be encouraging and motivational and it can bring out your competitive streak as well. You get to see how you're performing on average compared to others in the industry in relation to revenue, transactions, visits, clients and online bookings. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to jump into Spotlight so you can see what it looks like in the flesh. So you can see here, these are the different KPIs that we can have a look at. And you can see some results down here, for example, for total revenue. So it's always good to keep your finger on the pulse when we're looking at how the business is performing and obviously comparing to others and keeping track of industry trends as well. So you can see this lovely white line through the middle is the industry averages and the yellow is my last year, so 2016 and my red is 2017. And you can see if it's super quiet, so if we take February, for example, um, this was one of my quieter months, and July, this was also one of my quieter months, we can check the business benchmarking to see if others in the industry are experiencing the same. So if this white line, we can see it dipped in January, and it is slightly on the increase in February and it stays pretty steady within July. So it really does help us, um, you know, see if there's any dips within the industry. And if there's not, then maybe, you know, it's time to take a closer look at what's happening within your business. Um, and we can start to understand and learn the reasons why perhaps our revenue was down. And what we'll do is we'll touch on this again a bit later on and I'll show you how we can use it for setting up and pre-planning our promotions for 2018 as well. 
So if we just jump back in, the next part for you to consider is loyalty. So loyalty is a must for rewarding clients for spending their hard earned money with you. And loyalty can be customized so that you can choose how many points a client is rewarded after spending a certain amount of money with you. So for example, a couple of the popular ones are one point for every pound spent or one point for every 10 pounds spent. They're both very popular. And when clients get to a certain amount of points, they can reward, be rewarded with potentially a discounted service or a treatment that they love and that they come in for all the time. Or it could be a great chance for us to entice them to try a new service or a new product that they've never had before. Or we could even use it to entice them to try a new product that they've never had before as well. So we can actually set tiers within the loyalty, such as bronze, silver and gold. And it means that once a client has earned a certain number of points, they can be pushed up to the next tier and they can receive even better results and rewards. And it's almost like a membership scheme for them. So it's a really great way to encourage that little bit of extra spend, but it's also fabulous for rewarding those top spending clients as well. You can set loyalty so that it sends notifications via email to your clients of their point balance. And very shortly, a little exclusive for you, we will be having it so that clients will be able to monitor their loyalty points through the Salon app. So the next part to have a look at are the reports. So the reports will tell you if you're on track for achieving your goals. Shortcuts has a report for absolutely everything, pretty much, and it's important to check your reports on a regular basis. So it will be really good now if what we do is we think about those goals that we set earlier on and we can have a look how we can measure these results using the fabulous reporting. So the first goal that we set was I will acquire 20 new clients by June through client referrals. So what we can do is we can run the client referral report for this. And what it actually shows us is it shows us existing clients who've referred other people. It shows us who those new referrals are. It also shows us how much those new referrals spent. And it also shows us how many clients were referred during a set period. So what we wanted was to acquire 20 new clients by June. Oh, I've jumped, I've jumped too far. I've jumped into new clients. Let's go back a page. There we go. So the next one was to ensure 20% of non-returning clients return within the year. So this helps us to see a list of all clients that visited within a certain date range who haven't returned yet and also see how many returned or not after the selected date range. So the report that we've run here is the non-returning clients from date range, as you can see. And with any of these reports, we can pick and choose the time period that we want to run this for. So we could run it for an entire year, we could run it for six months, we could just run it for two weeks if we wanted to. You can do all of that within the reporting. The next goal that we set was to increase total sales by £2,000 by the end of next year. So the one that I have run for this is increase revenue is the sales by month trend. And what this shows us is it shows us month on month our revenues and it does give you a summarized list of the total earnings at the bottom as well. So what we can see, we can see it in a graph and we can also see the figures at the bottom as well. The final one was 
To encourage employees to upsell, I will set each member a target of selling £3,000 in products by the end of the year. And this report is the products by employee. And this will show you the total product revenue. It shows us the amount of products sold. And it also shows us a breakdown of employees' total product revenue contribution. So we can see all of our employees listed here. And we can also see the business total as well. If you've got any um, goals that you would like to set and you'd like some advice on which reports to run, at the end you'll get my details and you can just send me a quick email and I'll be able to help you with that as well. So something else for us to think about are promotions. So the benchmarking tool is fantastic for pre-planning our year's worth of promotions. So what we can do is we can take some time in January to plan the promotions for the entire year. And this can tie in with the goals that we've set ourselves. We can sit down with our calendar and we can plan around holidays and events throughout the year. When it gets busy, we won't need to think about creating last minute deals because we'll be nice and prepared. And when we're planning our promotions, don't forget to ask your clients for their feedback. What would they like to see within the year? Is there anything that they want? Is there anything that they would love brand new within the business? It's really good to get their feedback. So if we jump back into Spotlight. We can start to look again at 2017, where we had dips and spikes. And any dips that we see, again, such as February and such as July, we can start to pre-plan our marketing campaigns using set and forget. And we can pinpoint exactly who we want to send these promotions to. So if I just scroll down and we have a look at our retail revenue, we can see that we had some fantastic months last year. We had April and we had August, but we also had some not very good months such as February, October and November as well. So what we could do is we could plan some marketing campaigns within our set and forget marketing, specifically for clients who've bought certain products in the past, and we can target these on our quieter months. So to give you a summary, today we've looked at some potential SMART goals and what SMART goals are. We've looked at how we can assess how the business is performing thanks to our business benchmarking tool. We have had a chat about loyalty and how to keep those clients coming back for more. We've used shortcuts reports to gauge our success. And it will give you a fantastic idea of how to run promotions for the year as well. If anybody has any questions, if they could just pop them into the question box, I'll just give you a moment and we can go through any of these should you have any. Okay, so if there are any tools at all that I've shown you today that potentially, you know, maybe you've never used before or perhaps you haven't got on your current shortcut system, please get in touch via my email address and I can pass your details on to our fantastic customer care team who will be able to give you a little bit more information. For anyone on the webinar that doesn't have shortcuts, and you would like to find out more, again, you can get in touch via my email and we can organise a demonstration for you. And don't forget, everyone, that if you do refer somebody to Shortcuts, you will receive a £150 voucher.
Thank you very much for listening. And this has been recorded. You will receive a copy of it and it will be available online as well.